Hello friends. Thank you for joining me again on Painting with Harold. And this is going to be kind of an adventure here. Uh, we're going to do the Royal Majesty by Bob Ross. It was episode 21, season 21, I'm sorry, episode 3. And what we've got is 16 by 20 canvas turned on portrait. And Bob used a black gesso to uh, make an outline. So the first thing we're going to do is that because it'll have to dry. And I'm going to break this video up in several segments because uh, this was a requested painting from a from a subscriber and he said he was having problems with the bottom half of the painting and the top half of the painting there's a mountain with a little distant mountain and some trees it's a real real pretty painting when it's done mine may well not no may mine will not turn out as good as Bob's but what we will do is uh, we'll jump in there and we'll give it a We'll give it a go, and we'll do the best we can with it. And with that said, we're going to go right into it. Now, what I'm going to start with, i got a pencil here. And Bob had a, had a, had a kind of like a little valley in here with a big tall hill over here that came up. Um, the, the best way I can say to do this is going to be come over here and come up about halfway of your canvas and then maybe a couple inches more and make your mark. And then over here, come down a couple inches and make another mark. Now, you don't have to be dead on with these marks. Uh, the only reason we're coming down those couple inches is Bob had like a little tree sitting up here with some trees around the, the little valley part. Well now to do the valley, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down and we're just gonna loop these together. And to loop them together, we're gonna come in, well, let's say we come in about, say middle ways of the canvas. Let's see how far up we are. This is two inches. Four, six. Okay, so that's eight. That's half. So that's where we at there. So here we up about. We up about. That's two. Oh, let's do it again. Four. Six. I like it better at six. So let's drop this mark down to six. Okay. Now we're gonna come from here to there, but in a but in a circular type motion, just like that. So bring this down and just kind of join it in here with this one. And once you pick up there, just start back up the heel and run that right off the canvas, about like so. And what this is gonna give us is just a a basic outline of, of of what Bob had. Now, is it exact? No, I promise you it's not exact. Uh, but it, it will be close enough. Now, if you don't have a black gesso, you can use black acrylic paint. Uh, sometimes it don't work as good as gesso because it, it Wants to, if it gets any kind of moisture on it, it wants to come off easier than gesso does. And gesso's a little thicker, but it will work. What I got is just a simple piece of cardboard that I tore off of a box. And I've got, and I'm using the Bob Ross gesso, the Bob Ross black gesso. And I take that, I take that gesso and I put it directly onto that 
directly onto that uh that cardboard and I use that as a disposable pallet because it's better than messing up your normal pallet because everything has to be cleaned up with water when you're using this kind of stuff and then I use a disposable foam brush you can pick these up at a dollar store for pennies on a dollar. I mean, these things are like a buck for a pack of a lot of them. I think, I think there's probably six or eight in a pack, something like that. And I think they're a dollar at whatever that dollar store is. It's true dollar. One of them now is a dollar fifty, I think, <laughs> or a dollar and a quarter. But all we're gonna do is we're just gonna come up to our line. And, and this line does not have to be straight by no means. So we're just going to fill all this in with the black gesso. Just bring it around. Just bring your line around. And we're not trying to be real pretty. Because all we're going to do is just fill this area in with, with solid black. And we're going to let it dry. And if you go over the line a little bit, well, we ain't going to cry about it. Because we're going to have to go over the line in a minute anyway. So I promise you this is not a, this is not a precision type outline here. into a little more of our gesso here. I'm getting low. I'm just going to make an order and get me some more. I thought I had two bottles, but apparently I don't. Now, one thing you can do is you can mist your canvas just a little and it'll that water will mix with it and it'll it'll kind of hip it uh, thin down just a little and it'll hip it spread a whole lot more smoothly and it'll make it go a little further as well. We'll slow down your drying time but you know for the easiness of it I'd say it's it's worth it. I'll come back up here like so and paint it all in we just want it solid black that's all we're looking for just solid black that scraping sound you hear is uh, these things have a little stick in them that goes up into the foam and sometimes it I mean you can imagine for 15 cent the quality of these things it's not the greatest in the world but they work for what we're doing so you can't argue with that sometimes cheap's not a bad thing Now, by no means do you want to go and use uh, your Bob Roth brushes for this, for this painting of the gesso, because gesso is acrylic based, and it will require washing your brush, whatever you use, with water. Unless you use the foam brush, you know, you can dispose of these. They're, they're so inexpensive, you can just throw it away. But... You know, if you don't want to throw it away and you want to wash it and use it, you can use it again. Uh, entirely up to you. But there's a process here that we are going to, or I'm going to, I'm going to use a brush. And you don't have to if you don't want to. 
All right, just like that, we got it pretty much filled in. That's about all we need. Now, I'm going to toss that brush. And what I was talking about on the brush is the making of the, uh, the trees that are going to be way off in the distance. And I've got an older fan brush that uh, a fan brush like Bob's or Bill Alexander's or Kevin Hill, any of those guys that, that have their own line of natural hair, natural hair bristles do not like water. So get you a, a oh goodness, I can't even say it now. The nylon bristle brushes and they work fine for this kind of stuff. They're designed for acrylic so and you can wash them and it won't hurt them because all you wash them with is water all right now Bob had some trees lying in his his uh, valley here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with just like the little tappet trees that you do in a Bob Ross painting but with oil and we're just gonna do little little tappy trees all the way around our valley and all we're doing is pulling these trees straight in tapping the canvas and pulling straight down just giving one a a bit taller look sometimes and shorter and taller and shorter and taller Right here I made a bush. Now, main thing, going up the hill, you still want to pull straight down. Even though you're going uphill, you don't want to turn your brush and do this. You still want to keep your trees going straight up. Because if you don't, they're going to look like they're falling off the hill. And that's not, that's not the effect we're going for here. We want these trees to look like they're growing straight up the hill. And just like this, just pull them straight up. Just like so. And just maintain that. Maintain that look all the way around. Just like so. And Bob had one up here on top. It was a little bigger. So we can add it and come down. Now somewhere down that side, I don't remember about how far, I probably should have had the video playing while I did this to try to instead of trying to commit to memory because I'm getting old my memory is not as good as it used to be but what we want to do is on a couple of these just like you're making the the Z trees with the oil paint it's the same way as making these we just want to make a an indication we'll do another one here we just want some we just want some trees that look Maybe a little bigger or a little fuller off in the distance. And none of these have to be perfect. Just something to indicate that it's a that it's an evergreen. And of course this one up here is gonna be one. We wanna add it in. And like I said, Bob had one somewhere down the side here that uh well, we'll put ours right here i'm not sure exactly where it was but we'll just put ours right here we'll add it in like so all right then we'll smooth all this out and just like that 
we are done with step number one. We will let that we'll let that gesso dry and we will come back in uh, if you're painting along with me you're going to need liquid white for this area and liquid clear for this area the colors we're going to put in here on the black first to start with is going to be Prussian blue and midnight black I do, I do believe that was what it was on our liquid white up top, we're gonna we're gonna do a little Prussian blue up here with some white clouds. I think that's the beginning of it. So when we come back, the colors we'll need will be Prussian blue, midnight black, titanium white that I know of right off the bat. And with that being said, that'll do it for round one. Uh, I will get round two done as quick as I can and get it posted. Uh, in round two, we may attempt to to do the bottom half, put our color on, our liquid clear and our color, our liquid white up here and our sky. And then in part three, we'll come back, we'll do the mountains, the, the big mountain and the distant mountain, and we may start on the middle ground. And then on a part four, we'll come in and do something else. We'll either finish it in part four, or we'll do a part five and do the, the big rock. There's a big rock that comes over here. With just, just You can watch the video. Like I said, it's episode 21. I'm sorry. Season 21, episode three, and it's called Royal Majesty. And we'll come back, get started back on on it and get round two done or part two but so far that's that's where we're going to be at on part one thank y'all for watching i really hope you enjoy it i hope you stick with me through this because this is going to be a journey it's going to be a journey for me and and you and we should enjoy it so if you hadn't already hit the like and subscribe button and stay with me on this one because this one's going to get interesting Thank you guys. Have a great night.